Good evening, I'm Lee Anderson. In other news tonight, a Facebook post from a Redmond business is causing controversy and losing that business some of its customers. Noah Chast joins us now with the details. Noah? Well, Lee, the post made by a butcher shop in Redmond is about Juneteenth, the holiday celebrated yesterday, celebrating the end of slavery. It had intense opinions and incorrect facts about the holiday. Redmond Butcher Shop, were the worst, posted a Facebook message expressing its disagreement with the celebration of Juneteenth. The post, made Friday, claims the holiday was created by the current administration and is not meant to celebrate freedom, but is, quote, a federal holiday that celebrates the moral decay and corrosion of our country under the guise of equality. I think the most concerning part is the misinformation. I spoke with OSU Cascades instructor Shandell Landon, who explained Juneteenth is in fact a holiday celebrating the actual end of slavery. It's celebrated on June 19th because on that date in 1865, two years after the Emancipation Proclamation, the last slaves in Texas were informed of their freedom. It was officially recognized as a state and national holiday this year, and there have been celebrations in Central Oregon for the past three years. Other parts of the nation have been celebrating for a while, but many of us just didn't know the holiday existed because it's not something that's, like I said, historically talked about, so. I went to We're the Worst to talk with the owner, but he declined to speak on camera. His post gained backlash online, and Bend's subreddit users considered boycotting its customers, which included Monkless Brewing and Bend. Their GM told me over the phone and in a statement, Monkless Belgian Ales does not align itself with the beliefs and values posted by We're the Worst. After hearing from our customers and reading the social media posts, we have decided to discontinue use of their products. It really warms my heart to see our community line up with us and support us and make steps to make Central Oregon a safer place for people of color. Landon appreciates the online community bringing this issue to attention and Monkless for taking immediate action. We can't do this work alone and having the community step up and take actual action lets us know that we are important and that we matter. And Landon told me yesterday's Juneteenth celebrations were a hit and she was really impressed by the turnout. Meanwhile, Monkless Brewing says it will use its national meat suppliers for now and search for a new local supplier. And we recently found out Bend Grocery Outlet has confirmed it's pulled all of its were the worst products off of its shelves. Lee?